Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we got three jobos. <coughs> One's a very sad one, very sad one. Uh, but we've had a delivery today, which we are going to open in a sec. Uh, I haven't got it here because customer's already got it because I've already filmed that clip. So you're going to see that in a sec. We're going to see this is the biggest chameleon tank you can get. So that's really, really cool. Um, we have also had some rescue uh, angelfish comes in, giant angels. Um, so as you saw probably in one of the clips yesterday, I flooded the shop filling up their new tank. So they've got to go in there and it looks like Atlas might be coming towards the last of his days. He's been, the last three days he's been at the bottom of the tank, hasn't really been doing any climbing and doesn't matter how much I feed him, he's just getting skinnier and skinnier. Um, so it's a little bit sad because we all know we, we love Atlas. Um, so yeah, we're going to crack on with the day, we're going to try and have a good day, and he's had a good life. Well, we gave him a good life to, for the end, and that's what we've got to think about. So, please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me, and let's crack on with the day. Ha <laughs> well, The delivery has arrived. Look at the size of this bad boy. So, I've got the customer here, but I'll quickly show you what it is. Oh, so it's the biggest chameleon tank that they make. On mass. You could probably make some yourself bigger, but... From the shops, this is the biggest one I can get. Oh, look at this bad boy. Look at that! It's humongous! Oh, it is. What's that? I'm 5'11. That's got to be 4 foot easy. It's um, oh, 61 or 61 by 122 centimeters, or 24 by 24 by 48 in inches. So there you go, proper bad boy. Let's jump on, we've got some other jobs to do. Um, and let's let the customer take this home. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the fishies first. This is a bigger job. So we're moving, these are our big male angels. So they came in about a week, week ago. We're sorting out a tank for them. I'm doing really well. Problem is, it's two males, so they want to fight the wheel, they do. They're okay to, together, but anything else, they just want to fight, so I've got to keep them separate. The one male does have a right divot in his head. I don't know where that's come from. Uh, it's all healed and stuff, there's all skin there, so it's not a fresh wound. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to move them into this tank that I filled up yesterday. The only thing I've got to do, that one bubble has stopped bubbling, so I'll fix that. Um, and then yeah. We crack on, we put them in, and then we can have a look at Atlas and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got to see what's wrong with this. There's a good chance that this is blocked or there's no air going to the pipe. So, oh, but if you look, there's little fine bubbles coming off that. So I think this is broke. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good thing, I've got a brand new one. It's normally what's wrong with them. It's very rare anything happens to the actual pipes. Look at that, yeah. Okay, put it back in. And we put the top back on. Yeah. Okay, so how this works is that air stone pushes all the water up with the bubbles. And the only way that that section can fill it back up with water is by going through the gravel, underneath the, the uh, filter grate, and then back up the tube. So that's how it cycles the water around, so the gravel becomes our filter. It's a very old style, but I think it still works quite well. Uh, you see, I've had to do it the other day, and I've dropped one in there. There's another little air stone in there, I'll have to try and get that. Um, but we're ready now to add our big angels. Okay, we've got to try and catch the angels. I think I've only got room for one in this bag. So we'll do one at a time. I'll get another bag and we'll do the next. Whoa, he's splashy. You okay? I got you, buddy. I got you. I got you. Calm down. There we go. Oh, we'll get both in there. Yeah, no worries. It'll be a bit easier like that because they won't try and claim the tank if they're going separately. If they go together, they should be a bit more. Whoa! That was lucky, you nearly went in the blooming water. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Keeping them together should stop them claiming the tank and kicking off at each other. 
Okay, question is, can I get this in without making an absolute sausage of it? So I need a bit more slack on the bag because it's got to go under that loop, well, under that slot. Okay, let's go. You've got to get in there, is the question. So you can watch. Oh, just about to see that. So I'm going to hook it in like that. There we go. So let them chill out, let them acclimate. I'll give them a little dung. I will turn the light off as well. Gives them a chance to chill out. There we go. Don't want to stress them out too much. There we go. Big angels in there. I think what we'll do, we'll let them acclimate. We'll go have a look at Atlas. Maybe try and give them a feed. He didn't want to feed from me yesterday. Uh, we'll try and give him a feed today uh, and then yeah we'll come back and then we'll release the angels. So it is kind of a little bit sad, we are going to, we, we've had Atlas a very long time now. Um, he's become a little mascot of the shop, but yeah he's, he's sleeping all day long now. He's just chilling at the bottom, he's lost a load of weight, doesn't even roll his tail up much anymore. There he is. He's pooed in his water though, so we can get that out for him and do that. Yeah, he's asleep at the moment. Poor thing. So we, we can do his dripper. We gotta do his water as well, because he's pooed in it last night. Um, and yeah, then we'll just try and give him a feed. So we'll, we'll, we'll get him out, we'll have a little looky-loo at him. And then uh, we can go from there. I'm just drilling a bit. That's better. Atlas, hey buddy, you're looking dehydrated as well mate. Yeah, he's very skinny, very fragile now, aren't you mate, eh? Poor thing. Yeah, but he's still vibrant and he's still got his reds are popping. Is what is blue is going grey though? It is more of a grey than anything else. Poor thing, mate. You shed in, yeah. I know, mate. I know. So yesterday I did prepare him some water just to make sure he had some. Uh, topped up his dripper again, but again it, it's ran out. So we'll do that for you, my bud. Yeah, but we'll have a good proper look at it. Here he goes. So you can see he's lost a lot of weight, you can see it in his tail, look. Yeah, he's just got no meat left on him. He, but he's eating though, he's just not putting on any weight anymore. Poor Atlas. Poor Atlas. So there you go, but you go up there, because you're a bit cold. You go up there. There you go, you go up there, get nice and warm. We can quickly do your water. Do your water bowl. We get you some munchies. Yeah? Want some munchies? Okay, my boy. Poor mad. To be fair, his mouth has stayed at the same level. As you know, he went to the vets not so long ago for mouth rot. Again. Um, and the only thing we can do now is operate. And inexperience, I've never seen a chameleon survive operations as you know he's very old now so i think the best situation is for us just to live his life out with us now he has been this is the first week he hasn't fed and he's normally really really good which is what's made me a little bit more concerned that he's, that he's coming towards the end and i can see he's getting skinnier he's spending a lot more time at the bottom of the tank that makes me think he's a little bit not feeling confident in himself to hang on, so he doesn't want to fall from a high height. Um, yeah, he's, he's not very happy at all. Poor thing. Oh, there you go, mate. Drippers dripping. Oh, let's get you some munch. Oh, I missed. Good boy. 
You got it? He's got it. That's the first one he's at in about four, four days. It's a big adult locust as well. I did manage, yeah, I think four days ago, I managed to get him to eat some Mario worms. But that's all I was able to get him to eat. You got it, mate. You got it. Yes, I'm happy about that now. What I was doing yesterday was just dropping a little bit on his lips like that. Just so he just takes it in nicely. So what you don't want is just to fill him his mouth up with water when he's not planning on drinking because he can inhale it. Um, so pipetting, you've got to be very, very careful. Droplets on the lips and just allow it to go into the mouth. I left the tap on. Uh, allow it to go in, around the lips and go into the mouth that way. Um, yeah, and then tipping them over as well to make sure that it hasn't gone in their lungs. So lean them forward a little bit and anything that has gone in the lungs can come back out. Sorry if I'm a little bit distracted, I'm just, it's, it's Atlas and I love Zoom. Said that, but see if he wants another one. See if he wants another one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just realized I hadn't put any of the lights on this morning. <laughs> oh, it's only a couple hours in, we're all right. It was a dusky morning, that's what we'll say. Oh, do you want this one? Hmm, yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Do you want the locust? No, just one. Yeah, just one today, just one. Do you want it? You can try and eat it. You can do it. You got it? This is the bearded dragon with slight neurological problems. Come on, buddy. He had a bunch from me yesterday. I think he still wants, oh, he does. You got it? It's hard for him to get it in his mouth, though. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Whoop, watch yourself. Oh, you dropped it. You dropped it. You go get it. You do. You got it. Want it? Go on, buddy. You can finish it off. You just decapitated it. There you go. Watch me fingers. Poor boy, eh? Good lad. Always said having a pet shop is the best job in the world, and also is the worst job in the world. You get to do the coolest things in the world, finding the nicest people, the perfect pets for them, and then you get animals that have just had such a hard, horrible life, and you just have to watch them suffer and having to try and just give them the best you can during those last couple of days. It's, it can get to you sometimes. There's poor Atlas in all his glory. You can see how skinny he is because of his tail. He has no weight on his tail at all now. I think he's barely eating enough to keep himself alive. That's basically all he's doing. He's just losing so much weight. And I don't want to force feed him. I don't want to, I don't want to stress him out. He's had an hard life. I don't want to do him, stress him out any more than I have to. One more dunk on the species. Five more minutes and we can release them. Let's release the beasts. Let's turn the light back on so we can actually see what we did, Lynn. Okay, let's release them. Okie dokie then. Nice and steady, lads. Nice and steady. Don't get confused. Come on, you're okay. There you go. Now readjust. Straighten up a bit. Come on, lads. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now forward, 
Forward, forward, whoa, That's it, out. Okay, but are you facing facing the wrong way now? Come on. Oh, come on, buddy. Go the opposite way. Go reverse. Beep, beep. There we go. That's better. I can get the bag out. Oh, my Lord. So I have got to get the air stone out. I'll do that in a sec. But look at that. That's a bit more space, isn't it? If you get any big female angels, I'll consider putting them all in there with him. We'll get some carrot terracotta pots. Let's see if we can maybe get breeding. That would be really cool. There you go, everybody. That's all the time I've got for today. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to watch the video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. Apart from that, we'll see you in the future. Bye.